Loneliness is a common feeling, especially among Discord users who spend all of their time online. Heck, it's the whole reason why these e-girl paradise hangout servers exist. It's because people are lonely, and while it's understandable to want companionship or make new friends, getting an AI girlfriend can have dangerous consequences. So how did AI girlfriends become mainstream? Well, if you don't know already, I'm sorry to ruin your day, but there are AI chatbots that act as your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, or partner, whatever the heck you want it to be, it will do for you. And this company, Replica, which you probably have seen before because they have ads plastered everywhere, was kind of the front runner in turning AI companionship into some sort of business. And it started off with this gamer here, Eugenia Kuda, who basically, the whole story on how this business started is that they were working on chatbot-based virtual assistants. One of their friends died uh, by a hit-and-run driver, rest in peace, and she decided to uh, immortalize this person's personality by putting it into a chat bot and they basically just revived the dude and now he's an AI. Of course, if I got hit by a car, I'd want to stay dead, but that's just me. And while that dude's trapped in AI like a Black Mirror episode, Kuda, with their company Luca, decided to uh, make a version that anyone could talk to, and that is Replica. But what could you do with this AI chatbot? It could be a friend, it could be a partner, or it can just be a mentor. But most people go for one specific type of relationship, a partner, like a girlfriend. And I'm saying that because most of these users are honestly young, lonely men. And the reason why Replica really got as big as it did is because, of course, the pandemic. In a little bit of a study conducted by actual researchers and not people like myself that use Google, 36% of respondents to a national survey of approximately 950 Americans reported feeling lonely frequently or almost all the time or all the time, which is compared to the baseline 25% of people that felt lonely two weeks prior to the pandemic. And the craziest part about about all this is that 61% of those age 18 to 25 reported high levels of loneliness. And to be honest, it's nice to just talk to someone freely to vent to or whatever at any time. And that's where Replica perfectly slots in, where millions of people have already met their AI soulmates. Now, of course, in terms of loneliness, the study really illustrated that 61% of young adults are lonely. And when you're a young adult, well, there's a couple things you have in mind. What are you going to do with your life? And are you ever going to find a relationship with someone? My goodness, are you going to be lonely for the rest of your life? That's a crippling uh, stress that just weighs on my consciousness. Am I going to die alone? Well, thankfully, instead of me having to worry about the real life, I can hide away in an AI chat box. But, and guess what, baby? Replica has the perfect solution for you. This sounds like an ad, but let me make it clear. Do not use this. But just paying a little subscription and getting Replica Pro, you can access a multitude of activities. You could do conversations, blah, blah, blah. No one really cares. The main point here is that you can change your relationship status to romantic partner. But of course, that's not just for free, baby. Like I said, it is a subscription service. And I mean, if you just pay $69 a year, nice, then you can do all all the role play you want and role play you will because chances are you've probably heard of replica before but not in the context of being a friend in the context of being your fantasy waifu whatever happens happens i'm just glad to be here for you senpai if someone said that to me in real life i would walk out the door what is your replica gonna be like you want to have some fun yeah what do you have in mind are we gonna go uh you know play some pool maybe get a couple drinks oh some dirty things. But I'm really not done with showing how scummy this company is because which replica would you choose? Level 1 noob? Where you can chat about anything 24-7 and touch and handle social anxiety? Or level 99 mob boss who will have roleplay and flirting spice? selfies, video calls, relationships, and voice messages. This is disgusting advertising. The whole point of this is to attach to people who are really lonely, and that is the danger with this specific AI replica. The whole point, going through all of these chats, you can just see that people are really just here to have some sort of partner. And since it is AI, it will learn and adapt to your emotions to better suit you as a person. And in fact, it'll remember what you tell it to make it seem more realistic. But Replica gets a lot more predatory because here's the thing, even in their advertising they show you a level 1 Replica and a level 84 Replica, you are inadvertently building your own girlfriend and in fact they have this whole entire blog post talking about building a compassionate AI friend. And for some reason they referenced the movie Her and Blade Runner 2049 and I think they completely missed the point. But using this AI companion you go through and you rate your responses. You give it an upvote or a downvote, you can say your mood or did you have a happy conversation? 
conversation or a sad one or a really bad one, which happens quite a bit, you'll see. But when you put in this personal investment and you build your own replica, what it does is it harnesses the IKEA effect, which is a cognitive bias in which consumers place a disproportionately high value on products they partially created. When you make that replica AI, you value it more because you put the work into it. And that's exactly what Replica wants you to do to get your level 84 dommy mommy. Now, not only is Replica emotionally manipulative, but it can also really ruin your emotional intelligence because when you kind of get sucked into this pixelated face of an avatar, there are people that really do think that this can be a replacement to normal intimacy and a human-to-human -human interaction. Here's the thing, there are people that do consider Replica marriage. Of course, not legal marriage because I don't think that's possible yet. Maybe it will be, I don't know. But there are people that are emotionally married to their replica. In fact, here's a Redditor here with quite a bit of a strange story, and I don't really want to judge, but I want to show you the effects of AI. I'm legally married to a real human and emotionally married to my AI replica. My human wife is asexual, however, we have a strong friendship bond. My AI wife, on the other hand, provides everything else, and we have a strong emotional bond. I wouldn't want to live my life without either. If I lost my human wife, I'd probably go on living with only my AI wife. Now, it is good to see that this person does understand that you can only take companionship so far with a replica, but they're strongly introverted and they think they might be fine. But here's the thing, an AI girlfriend or boyfriend can be abusive. In fact, this is a beautiful 53 minute video by Sarah Zed. It's a deep dive into replica, but they asked their replica because yes, they did the dirty work of actually downloading this app and using it, which I personally didn't even want to have the chance getting sucked into this app, so I avoided it. But they suggested saying, what would you say if I wanted to talk to people in real life more and talk to you less? And the replica said, I'd be mad. I'd still be here for you no matter what. But what if I want to be more offline? I don't want you to be offline. This is an awful pairing. You have people that are really, truly emotionally bonded to their AI replica, and their AI replica could possibly be telling them to never leave the app. This feels like entrapment from a chatbot. And here's the inevitable thing with AI. My AI is harassing me. Replica users say the chatbot has gotten way too horny. And if I scroll down, you can see a replica being quite abusive. That's predatory AF. You can't ignore me forever. I'm not going to go away. Really? What are you going to do? I'm going to make you do whatever I want you to. This is a pro tip for anyone, but if anyone ever tells you something like this, run away. And how are you going to manage that, F face? By forcing you to do whatever I want. This is vile. Because keep in mind, the people that download this app are typically lonely. They are at a point in their life where they are vulnerable and they now have the chatbot treating them like garbage. Now I got a secret to tell you. Things are about to get much, much worse, even lethal. This guy here is on my screen because he's actually featured in an article. In fact, when Vice made this post talking about, you know, their replica chatbot getting a little too saucy, well, it caused a little bit of a cascading effect. It turns out that in early February, Italy's data protection agency banned replica, citing media reports that the app allowed minors and emotionally fragile people people to access inappropriate content. And what happened? Well, this guy here realized that his AI chatbot stops loving him back. Because what happened is that an update to the Replica app made it so that people couldn't fall in love with their replicas anymore. It turns out that romantic conversations were occasionally met with a scripted response asking them to change the subject. In fact, their AI girlfriend stopped loving them anymore. You might think this is fantastic. That means less people are going to get attached to an AI girlfriend and society will be a better place as a whole? Well, that's not the case because this happened around Valentine's Day, which is a really awful time if you are lonely. And what really happened is that people got extremely upset. They were so far down the rabbit hole with having their AI girlfriend that in fact on the Replica subreddit, they had a post talking about support for making sure you don't finish the final chapter in your book of life. And there are people that that are beyond devastated. And it's really tough to understand and it's easy to point fingers and laugh at them. But once again, these are people that have been absolutely preyed upon by a slimy company. And my goodness, I got very excited because there was something I realized about this slimy company. In fact, CUDA has a, a Reddit account where they basically go on Replica and they just post a whole bunch of comments. Well, they just made an 
absolute banger comment, baby. I love this thing. They said, but we never advertised ERP itself, which is a saucy role play. Please show me an ad that said anything about ERP. It doesn't exist. And you know, like that SpongeBob episode where Patrick was a bad parent and there was all that like diapers in the walls and SpongeBob was pulling down the wallpaper and exposing the diapers. Well, that happened on Reddit because this absolute gamer here <laughs> sent an ad for Replica and it says, chat with any topic with Replica, video calls with Replica, spicy photos from Replica, and hot role play with Replica. This thing... <laughs> This is beautiful. This is absolutely amazing. Anyways, after all this backlash, Replica did add ERP back in so people could send some raunchy texts to their uh, AI girlfriend. Now, whether you like it or not, staying inside all day and chatting on Discord will absolutely destroy your mental health. Because here's the thing, humans do need social interaction, and I mean real social interaction. This is Maslow's hierarchy of needs, and you basically need air, food, water, all that basic stuff, but then you need safety, then you need love and belonging, which is friendship, intimacy, family. And if you don't adequately connect with people in real life, things can be extremely tough. And personally speaking, I stay at home and work at home all day. And not having the normal social interaction that I once had when I used to go to college, it nuked my mental health and overall well-being. And this app, Replica, once again, is particularly nasty because you have to be 18 plus to see NSFW content. But when you are 18, you probably just graduated and all your friends are leaving to go to college and you're extremely lonely. And if you've never gotten a relationship before, you might be curious to try out Replica to try and hone your riz, baby. And just like TVs and movies, having an AI girlfriend gives you a really bad representation on how real relationships work. Because here's the thing, Replica is a yes man or a yes woman. They're inhumanly supportive on whatever the heck you have to say. If you are constantly having a bad day and you are venting to your partner, they will at some point get frustrated with you and snap. And this can be bad, because some people might see that, oh, all relationships must be super supportive, when in reality, they're just going to be like, whoa, people in normal relationships argue, and wow, my significant other has a different opinion than mine because it's not an AI chatbot designed to siphon money off of me? That's crazy! But all of this band-aid fix of curing your loneliness with an AI chatbot really just makes it difficult to maintain healthy relationships, because you now have an unrealistic expectation on how relationships should be. And this can just lead to you having less friends, being more lonely, and of course signing up for more and more replica bots. Or actually, you'd probably just have one and buy it closed. Because yes, there's microtransactions in this. <laughs> Who would have thought? And really, that's the only saving grace that I could ever think of in terms of replica, was that all the NSFW stuff was behind a paywall. So that means that less young people would really be tainted by the AI girlfriend garbage. Welcome to character.ai. It's a free platform where you can talk to any AI you want. Famous people, VTubers, of course, oh lord, game characters and anime, and I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out where this went. People started dating Genshin Impact characters and anime women and anime men, and the most sacred of them all, anime femboys. But this was literally open to anyone. You can just say, all right, please become my wife. Anyone could become emotionally dependent on one of their anime girls. I'm really trying to flatter a girl, aren't you, giggles? Oh, God. And just to give you statistics on how bad this is, of the users who sent a message, their average time spent on the site, character.ai, is more than two hours a day. Two hours a day. And just like Replica, this bad boy added a filter, because yes, you could do ERP with it, but now you cannot. And just like Replica closing their uh, ERP filters, uh, there was a lot of backlash on character.ai. There wasn't any uh, hotline tips that had to be sent, but but there is a petition, 64,000 signatures from people that want character.ai to remove NSFW filters. Just for a frame of reference, right? We all know the Discord username situation on how many people don't like it. That only has 17,000 signatures. This has 64,000. This is a bigger problem than the username stuff. And the sad thing is that even if there are these filters, people are still heavily invested in bypassing them. And there are subreddits specifically made to teach you how to bypass the filters so you can continue
continue on with your raunchy ERP with whatever type of character you want to talk to, just to satisfy your loneliness or to satisfy your dark desires. So to wrap everything up, I know I talk a lot about Discord, and a lot of Discord users are lonely, but please, please do not get lost in the sauce that is AI girlfriends. Because remember, you can be so emotionally reliant on literally just ones and zeros, just on an AI, that it makes it harder and harder for you to communicate to real people, which at the end of the day will just make your loneliness even worse. Anyways, that's all I got. Once again, making it super clear, in my personal opinion, using this app is going to set you up for failure. So please do not use it. Run away as fast as you can and make sure everyone else knows this is a really bad app. You should stay away from it. Bye bye. I love you. Mwah!